How's it going? Sure has been a long while since I've done a tech time. It's not because I haven't wanted to make anything. I just haven't been inspired by anything I've seen lately to make a video. And lately, I've been seeing this particular product popping up on my Amazon feed. And it looked interesting, but it's kind of pricey. So I kind of was holding off a little bit. Well, guess what? Today's my birthday. Today I'm 58, which means I've been posting to this channel for eight years now. It's my eighth YouTube anniversary. And I purchased this thing right here. This is a 3D hologram fan. And basically what it is, it's a four-armed windmill sort of thing with LEDs on the arms that apparently is supposed to spin and then project whatever video that is being fed to it. And then it puts it out into the world as a hologram. Theoretically 3D, I don't think that's going to be the case, but we're going to have to try it out and find out. I'm super excited to try it. I think it's going to be kind of cool. All right, so the first thing we have to do is unbox it, figure out how we set it up. There's a couple of ways they suggest doing this, some of which are on tabletops, some of which are attached to the wall. People tend to use these in stores for doing in-store advertising and things like that. My concern is on this, you know, you get these four arms spinning at a high rate of speed. How easy do they break? They don't come with any sort of enclosure to protect them. They do sell those at a very high price separately. Uh, so my concern would be, A, is it sturdy? B, what happens if my cat decides she wants to jump or he wants to jump in it? Uh, so we're going to have to hang it high enough to where he can't. Be enticed by it and uh yeah so uh i don't know i don't know what to make of it i don't know what to expect so we're all going to find out together all right well let's get it unboxed take a look at the instructions see how hard it is to put together see how hard it is to run see what it looks like in the end all right i have yet to open this box at all uh oh here on the end supposed to come with like hundreds of hours of uh, video content you can download that'll make for cool videos. So, all right, it's uh, nicely packed. We have a warning, do not touch hologram fan. There's a sticker you can put up if you're in a position where uh, you have people who might be in the area who don't understand what is going on. This is going to be in my office, so not a big issue there, except for the cat. And he can't read, so it's a moot point. Uh, the manual, product warranty card. Thanks. We'll be looking at this pretty closely. All right, what do we got? We got a, a, a mount for attaching this to a wall. We have a motor that clearly will attach to that wall mount. Uh, and it looks like we've got a port for power right here. Okay. And we have the, the base for each one of these. And it looks like a nice, it feels pretty sturdy. And it looks like we've got an interface there for each of the, the arms. All right, and a power supply. Power supply is 48 watts, 24 volts, it says. Feels pretty light. It's nice. And what do we have here? Remote control. All right. Remote controls are good. Oh, and a screwdriver. That helps because I suspect we're going to have to screw the arms on to there. And in here. Oh. That. Oh, each one of these arms is. So is that what the arms look like? Oh, probably going to go like this, maybe, right? I don't know. Ah, there. You see that right there? There's the port that connects to, to that, I'm presuming. Wait. The port that connects to that. Looks like a good sturdy base. Bunch of chips. But they're going to go something like that and screw on. And there's your, there's your LED display there. So let's, before we 
attempt to connect anything, let's read the instructions. You know I'm an instruction reader, and we'll go from there. All right. Attention. All right, so apparently this is run from an app, so that's good. We don't have to physically connect it to our computer. Um, just to note, this is the 18.1 inch version of this. All right, so it just simply says to attach the light bars, line up the screw holes and press down lightly so that it does get connected. And we have all these little teeny tiny screws in here for connecting it. So let's just go ahead and connect them all up. No sense being shy. This base is nice and heavy. The motor in there is, feels pretty solid. All right, so we're going to take this. There's the connector. Line that up with the port. Press down, and you can feel it nicely. You can feel it uh, enter the connector. Screwdriver fits perfectly, and the screws go in very easily. All right, that went together super easily. As you can see, we have the motor feels very smooth. They gave us lots of extra screws for the light bars. And, and now all it looks like we have to do is connect it to the wall, plug it in, hook up the app. Well, let's get it put on the wall first. That's gonna be the long pole in the tent right now. Okay, we have it attached to the wall. Let's go ahead and hit the remote and see what it does. I'm going to sit down. And you might see there's a an extra hole in the wall right there. There's a beam there, and my condo has metal beams, so I couldn't get any farther into the wall, so I have to fix that little hole. Let's sit down and see what happens. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're working with the, the remote here. With the remote, you can see we've got green on and off at the top, forward, back, play, stop, pause, next, those kind of things. So we're going to figure out what all this means here shortly. Let's go ahead and hit start. Okay, super cool. So clearly they're advertising Budweiser here. So that's really flipping awesome. Um, I want to, the next thing we want to do is we want to install the app. I'm probably going to do that right here. I'll uh, put my phone on my computer and record the visor uh, output and that we'll be able to see the setup and all that stuff. So pretty dope.
All right, so we've adjourned over here to the to the desk, and I have placed myself in a such a way where you can see the the uh, uh, display above my head, and you can also see my cell phone over to the right. And we're going to go ahead and install the app for this to control this. And the first thing it does is it gives you um, in the instructions it gives you this QR code that will send you to the site to get the app. Now. If you have an iPhone, you can go to the iPhone store and download it. It is not in the Google Play Store, so we had to um, go straight to the QR code to download this. So we're going to hit download. And we're going to say download. All right, so it'll just take a second for this to come down. It's downloaded. We're going to go ahead and install it. and we're going to open the application. So we're going to give it permission while using the app for our location and then we have to give it we have to uh, find a device. Now the uh, display has its own Wi-Fi capability. What you'll have to do is connect to that Wi-Fi to control this. So we're going to go ahead and say we're going to connect and it's going to look for networks you'll see the network that starts out with the MS45 blah that is the that is the Wi-Fi for this and we'll connect to that now it'll ask you for a password they give you a password in the instructions okay we're going to connect this time we're going to back out of the Wi-Fi And now you see we have the application here. Now at the top you can see, apparently you can select different devices if you want to control different devices. You can turn this off, as you see, and you can turn it back on. We have some settings here for brightness, angle, I don't know what power boot means, I don't know what timing switch is. Oh, you can schedule it to turn on and turn off. That's interesting. Uh, I guess you can connect this to to Wi-Fi. I don't want to. I don't want to do that right now. You can set the the login for the Wi-Fi and the name. Right now, it's the MS45, etc. Uh, ooh, sound. What's the format? No, no, we don't want to format the device. Restore factory setting. We don't want to mess with any of that stuff. Okay, so we have settings. Now this is a playlist. You can create a playlist. This is the playlist they, they gave us. So you can see we have the items. You can drag them and move them around. You can select them and play them. Let's look, let's play Snow Beer. Can we see it? Is it playing? Let's see. Oh yes. No beer appears to be playing. Dragons. Can we play dragons? Ah oh, yes, dragons. You see it? Uh, also, um, yeah, like I said, multiple devices. Let's look at the medias. Allow us to access our media so we can post media to the cloud or locally. Cloud network error. Of course, we don't have Wi-Fi because we're connected to the device, right? I'm not sure why they would give us a cloud access. Uh, design. Well, you can design stuff. Custom text. 3D ball. 3D box. Hello. Horse race lamp. 3D carousel. Cameras. Uh, oh, okay. This might be interesting. Well, I don't have a camera on, on this machine, so we're going to say don't allow and projection full screen center start projection okay so I'm interested in this I'm interested in playlists and adding stuff here because I have a lot of videos that I use from my channel that I think would look cool as a playlist so let us create a playlist oh video mobile album so we can take videos off of our mobile or pictures off of our mobile Here's a video of the, uh, so local is over there. 
So um, there's no there's so this is a, a video of the fans doing the wave at an Orioles game. Let's take a look at that. Oh, it's not playing. So we're gonna send that file name. We're gonna call that Orioles. I'm just totally not reading any instructions. I'm just winging it at this point, which is not like me, but I'm super excited because it's super cool. All right, so it's sending this file across. I, I, I picked this file in particular because it's what you're looking at is very, very small grain of people standing up and cheering, right, in a wave at, at a game. And let's see if, uh, let's see if we if, how, how good the resolution is on this. All right, that's a hundred percent. Okay, it, it just added it to the bottom here, so we're going to play it. Let's see what that looks like. It actually looks quite good. Quite good indeed. Alright, so I want to give you my thoughts on this. And then I'm going to trail out with letting you see the, the Stinger playlist I make. What are my thoughts? Um, there's a bunch of these listed on Amazon for a variety of prices from very low to very expensive. I went for the medium low price. This one's $179. Uh, there's some that are as low as $50, but they got very poor ratings and all this. So this was, this was one I felt comfortable with purchasing. Um, uh, the, the reviews were good. I would say the physical device, um, it feels very sturdy. I was worried, really worried about the, the blades and how they may act, how they may, you know, uh, you know, if they're kind of loosey-goosey, whatever, very solid. The motor feels very heavy and very high quality. The housing feels high quality. Everything feels super good and tight as far as the physical stuff goes. Clearly the software works. We'll play around with it a little bit and see uh, what we can come up with, but, uh, you know, I think it's... Oh, here's Quincy. Everybody say hi to Quincy. He's still not sure what to make of this. Um, so, price-wise, okay, so what would somebody use this for? Well, you could put it in your store. If you put it in a public place, be very careful. You might want to consider purchasing the, the uh, acrylic housing for it. It's about $80 keep the public from sticking their fingers in it because if they stick their fingers in it they're probably gonna they're probably gonna bleed a little bit and they're gonna probably destroy your your thing so uh, I would say if this is for a public setting you might want to consider investing in that if this is going to be low or on a table consider investing in the casing mine I intentionally put out of reach of little small critters and hang on. and um, so I don't think I don't think uh, I don't think that's an issue. Now, the only th er, I love everything about it. Super dope. The things that that I don't like about it, the power cord is black, so it's hanging down the wall. I don't have any way to hide it. I, I guess I could put some, you know, some some cable guides, whatever. I don't feel like I should have to for something like this. Also, the uh, the transformer portion of this. That cable right there is only about two and a half feet long. If it was another two and a half feet or three feet, that block would go all the way to the ground and that would be more appropriate for me. So I hate the fact that block is just hanging there. Uh, other than that, I really can't complain. I think it's super amazing. Uh, there you go. Would I buy it again? You betcha I would. I'm a big nerd. All right, well, I'm going to uh, fade out to uh, a little bit of my stingers here on the device. And thanks for stopping by, as always, and the new subs. And we will see you around next time. Bye now. All right, Editor Rico here. I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the apps for this. Um, as you can see, I did get my stingers uploaded but I will tell you struggled a little bit. 
you know, during the demo, I actually was able to upload that one Orioles video. But every video I tried to upload from my phone after that it was totally crashing the app. It would start and it would crash and say I had cache issues and things like that. Which made it pretty frustrating. So what I was able to do was go out and find the, the uh, download for the PC app version of that. And I downloaded that and was able to upload my stingers through that. The upload from the PC works really well. However, there are some features missing from that that are only on the phone app. So one of the things was the ability to move the uh, videos around and, and order them properly. So that was only that capability was only on the phone app. So I had to use both to get to my end state, which I have done. So just I guess once you figure out all the quirkiness to it, you know it's no big whoop. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, still, still would buy it, even though the the app is kind of kind of crap. Okay, that's it. We'll see you guys next time.